Coming up on Wyoming News Now, two buildings caught fire overnight in Casper. Plus, scammers are at it again. We tell you what to watch for and keeping you and your pets safe during hookworm season. Wyoming News Now starts now. Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight at 5.30. I'm Kayla Dixon. Two structures caught on fire this morning, keeping Casper Fire EMS busy. Our Bobby Russell is at KCY Studio showing us or explaining some of the damage from one of the fires. Bobby? Yeah, Kayla, fire, Casper Fire EMS was busy this morning. Two separate buildings caught fire. Units were sent to a residential house fire off of Willow Street shortly before midnight. And once firefighters arrived, they found an active fire in a single family home. Firefighters were quickly able to put the fire out. There are no injuries reported. Then at 2.20 this morning, Casper Fire EMS responded to another report of a fire in the 1000 block of Burlington Avenue. Once on scene, firefighters found a structure fire located behind a business on fire, which also slightly extended to the business that was closed. No injuries have been reported for this either. And I went to check out the scene that's across the street from the Casper Fire Extinguisher Service. I noticed a small structure that, that was burned, also a small also the tail light of a blue car that was burned as well. Back to you. Thank you, Bobby. Now we're going to jump into some weather action. Julian Seawright is standing by to let us know what we can expect today. Julian. Thanks, Kayla. And folks, we did have another warm day across the Cowboy State. And with it, we also have been seeing some severe thunderstorm warnings and watches that have popped up since the last couple of hours. And as we get into it, we are going to be looking at severe weather to be possible for tonight. And then tomorrow, we are looking for another persistent chance of seeing some slight chances in the afternoon of some storms. Tomorrow night, we're going to be looking at storm chances to be persisting as well. And as we go into our watches, warnings, and advisories, we do have a severe thunderstorm watch, mostly for the northeastern region of the state in effect until 11 p.m. for the following counties and also for this severe thunderstorm watch for the following counties mostly towards the eastward region of the state and which will be in effect as well until 11 p.m. In our current wind situation we are seeing some breezy winds that are picking up some gusts mostly for the central region of the state 16 miles per hour winds in Cheyenne with 17 miles per hour winds in Casper and we have current temperatures at 89 degrees in Cheyenne with 93 degrees in Casper. Casper, but we also do have some other things to get into, but we'll have more details of that coming up with a full forecast later into the show. Tell them, let's toss it back to you, Kayla. All right, you know, I was thinking this it was supposed to be the first weekend of Cheyenne Frontier Days, and there's always severe weather during CFD, and I was like, oh man, are we not going to have severe weather this time? But <laughs> I think I spoke too soon. Right. <laughs> Thank you, Julian. Yeah. Coronavirus cases in the state have risen 15 cases in 24 hours, bringing the total number of lab confirmed cases to 1,728. 1,303 people have recovered, which brings the number of active cases to 425. There are 398 probable cases and 24 deaths. The county with the highest COVID-19 cases is Fremont at 369, followed by Laramie County with 251, then Unita with 180. While those scammers are at it again, and no matter what the angle, they are always on the lookout for ways they can cheat people out of money for personal information. Wendy Core reports that this time around, thieves are posing as contact tracers in order to defraud Wyoming residents. Mobile phone scam calls are increasing. According to the AARP website, in 2017, only 3.7% of calls to cell phones were fraudulent. In 2019, the Federal Trade Commission received more than 1.1 million fraud complaints, and 74% of the time, the scammer made contact through the phone. Now, because of the pandemic, the Park County Public Health Office is warning residents that a new kind of phone scam is emerging. They say, we have access to all these tests. For a small fee, give me your credit card number, we'll send you this test. Because the feds actually did just recently approve a home test. But you don't get them just from anybody. 
If you were exposed to a positive case of COVID-19 and live in Park County, Crampton says actual contact tracers will identify themselves as being from the Wyoming State Department of Health or Park County Public Health. The purpose of the call will be to identify potential contacts, identify how long the contact was, and to issue quarantine or isolation orders. So if you start getting asked for checking account numbers or credit card numbers because we're going to send you something in the mail and we need to re be reimbursed, don't buy it. Justin Weed is the detective sergeant for the Cody Police Department. He says scams have cost local residents thousands of dollars. I think it happens more than actually gets reported, but occasionally they get creative and people do lay victim, uh, become a victim of a scam. And so they'll call and uh, report it to us and we usually refer them to those federal agencies that have the ability to um, further investigate it that we cannot. As with any fraud-related issue, officials say overall, just be cautious. If you don't recognize the number to begin with, don't answer it. From Cody, I'm Wendy Core reporting. Cheyenne drivers, here's a road closure you need to know about ahead of your commute tomorrow. Simon contractors will begin concrete intersection repairs at East 12th Street and Monroe Avenue. This will require a full closure of East 12th. Detour routes will be posted. If the weather cooperates, construction should be done in a week. Another intersection will be closed beginning tomorrow. The Vanda High Interchange will be closed until Tuesday. There is a detour in place. Well, check this out. The Wyoming Rescue Mission is now able to feed even more hungry, needy families through at least the end of the year. Each Wednesday through December, the mission will receive a pallet of boxed pre-packaged fresh produce from the Wyoming Food Bank of the Rockies. The mission serves about 108 homeless guests. This generous gift is from the United States Department of Agriculture's Families First Coronavirus Response Act and Coronavirus Food Assistance Program. The Companion Animal Parasite Council is committed to having every animal get tested for invasive parasites and help prevent them. Well, hookworms are an intestinal parasite uh, of dogs and cats. Um, it, it can be quite severe in them. Cheyenne is ranked fourth in the nation to see an increase of hookworm infections. In an ongoing study by Biomed Central, researchers found there is a 47% increase in the number of canine hookworm cases in the U.S. from 2012 to 2018. There are already 31 cases this year, and that's out of a total of 1,464 samples tested. Dr. Pryor also says hookworm can be spread to humans, most commonly by walking barefoot outside on greenway, in parks, and in the sand. The most common signs of infection in people is shown on the skin, with itching and rashes at the infection site. Like COVID-19, COVID-19 is considered a zoonotic disease. A zoonotic disease is a disease that spread from an animal to a human. Hookworms can be spread from animals to humans as well. So we have the full story on how you can protect yourself and your pet tonight at 10. Well, here's an update to a story we first brought you Friday. During the legendary cruise in Cheyenne Saturday night, cruisers raised over $2,000 for Casa of Laramie County. Congratulations, guys. Well, the DDA has a grant to help them highlight its history, the DDA in Cheyenne. The Wyoming Cultural Trust Fund awarded the Downtown Development Authority with a $6,745 grant. This is a State of Wyoming program with the Department of State Parks and Cultural Resources. The DDA plans to create an initiative called the History Underfoot Project. The DDA executive director says the project is designed to encourage both tourists and community members to explore downtown and learn about Cheyenne's heritage. Still to come on Wyoming News Now, President Trump talks about a mandatory mask order.